Hey there, Jeff Davis here, supply chain investor. And I wanted to share something that we're working on. Kind of exciting. I'll give you the backstory. Well, about two years ago, we had this uh, mobile home park come up and it's in North Louisiana. So not an ideal market that I would normally invest in. I don't normally partake in mobile home parks. Uh, and it's not really the size. So it does not check any of the boxes of anything that I would invest in. Um, however, uh, my cousin lives in North Louisiana. <laughs> he lives in Ruston and this is in West Monroe. So it's about a 30 minute drive. My cousin actively invests in uh, mobile homes. Uh, so he buys them and rehabs them and then he seller finances them or he just resells them. So it's kind of like what I do in houses uh, and flipping them and renting them out. Uh, and so he actively, he knows that niche of real estate. And he's been wanting to scale up into mobile home parks. And this is a small step up. And so it checked that box and he knows West Monroe, he knows Monroe, he knows Shreve, he knows that Northern Louisiana market. He grew up there. So it really alleviated those things, right? Cause I'd have boots on the ground. I could bring the capital. We both kind of, it's, it's a win-win. And so we looked at it and, and again, this is 2021. Um, they wanted 125 and none of the numbers justified that. We negotiated down to 115. There were some seller financing options, which made it very attractive. Um, what ended up happening with this was, uh, I think we had money in escrow already. I mean, we were ready to close on this deal. And the real estate agent uh, called me like days before closing. And she told me that uh, the two of the tenants were being processed for eviction. So this thing's already small. I think one of the, va we had um, underwrote this with four active leases. And now she calls and tells me that two of them are, two more are being evicted. So that was a little bit of a shock, right? Because they had presented four active leases and I was a little bit shell-shocked, right? Cause Matt, my cousin had clearly gone and, um, you know, walked the property, talked to people. And now we are being blindsided with this right before we go to closing. And, uh, I had told that real estate agent, this is borderline, uh, fraud, but you told us before closing. So. We actually still wanted to proceed with the closing, but it had an adjusted sale price. And what she conveyed, that seller's agent conveyed was they want to renovate, bump the rents, and then put it back on the market, right? They did not want to take such a haircut. That's fine. Whatever. We, we didn't love the property that much. It was just kind of a cool project. Um. So we were very interested to find out what was going to happen. Literally last Friday, it is June 21 right now, Friday, June 16th, my birthday. The owner of that mobile home park called me and said, Hey, uh, we got an offer from you a couple of years ago and blah, 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 blah. They, they need to sell. And, um, uh, so I, I, I told her my situation, which was, I was only interested if my cousin was right. I'm not managing this thing from Houston. So, um, over the weekend contacted him, he's on board. We talked through the scenarios and we looked at it. Uh, the sale price is now 85,000 and we looked at it and, um, he is, what we now learned is that the property is completely vacant. So we are looking at this as now it's a, it's a land purchase. 
um, with empty trailers. He's actually going to go walk it today or tomorrow. We're going to obtain the keys uh, to go look at the vacant units to see if there's any opportunity to salvage. Uh, he's putting together uh, the budget for acquiring new and transporting new trailers or put them on or mobile homes, excuse me, putting them on. But we have a rough estimate number. You know, they want 85. And I'll put the 85,000 here. But here's what we have, right? And again, this is just some back of the napkin math here, right? We're looking at it as a land purchase. Um, so 85, I think there's some taxes and insurance. It's very minimal. Um, to get mobile homes transported, uh, looking at six, we're probably looking at about a, a CapEx budget of about 120 because we want to position it and change it from a five unit to a six unit. And we would position those units and, and sell them as seller finance. And obviously we're going to put uh, clauses in place and rules and make this a, a nice little park uh, to, to keep the riffraff out. And over the next five to seven years, they will transition from seller finance units to strictly lot rent. Uh, currently, lot rent in the market is two fifty, so we're going to be conservative and and just keep it at two fifty, even seven years from now. But total capex one twenty, so all in on this project about two hundred. With all that. Um, gross income, 228. We're looking at an NOI of 226, but we see cash flow over the next five to six years of total project, uh, projected income, cash on cash return, 177% because it's $218,000 return on that. I think that's pretty clean. Um, Again, the hard numbers have to come in on what, what we can get those mobile homes for. We might luck out and, and be able to salvage one or two. We have to determine if it's going to be, if we think we need to do three bedrooms or, or two bedrooms and what can fit. But this is a cool opportunity that we're looking at and, and it'll be fun, I think, right? Um, that's what we're, it's one of, one of the projects that we kind of come across, right? And, and it also gives you the uh, understanding that you do not know what's going to stick and what doesn't and why you always want to keep putting those offers out. You know, we put this LOI out there in 2021 and here it is 2023 and they completely left this thing uh, to, to die on the vine. Oh, so that's if it's eighty five thousand. Obviously, if we we're thinking we're going to be that was sixty five. I had uh, Matt wants to go hyper aggressive. I'm thinking we probably scoop it up for seventy seven. But the differences in all the numbers don't don't make a tremendous amount. But I think we scoop this lot up for seventy seven, and we can generate some some good cash flow. Again, after seven. You know, six, seven years, it's going to be generating about 18 grand uh, with no real maintenance because the, the tenants will own their own, uh, their own units. So hopefully you can see the kind of project that you want to look for. And if you ever have any questions, give me a call. That's, that's something that we're working on right now that I think is pretty cool. Uh, and that is it. Call me if you ever have any questions. I hope we can work together.